Today, I'll be making a game in Scratch, the first Scratch. I don't know how I can still download it, but let's get the challenge started. Okay, first, we're gonna be making Flappy Bird. That's the easiest game, and since it's October, I thought we could do it in a Halloween thing. So, delete the cats as usual. How do I delete? Yes, delete, that's what we need. Let's choose a new sprite. So let's see, let's see what these guys have. Let's see what Scratch 1.4 offers us. Troll, ooh, witch. Oh, that's perfect, that's perfect. She's flying in the air. That's what we need. Okay, now we just need the witch to become small. Oh, look at these blocks, the memories. You new Scratch noobs probably don't even know, but me, I'm a Scratch OG. I know, I've seen Scratch rise. Okay, now 50, there we go, there we go. Okay, step two, we need a background. Paints, imports, imports. Okay, let's see what we got. We got um not a lot of choices literally the same as scratch 3.0 i'm looking for a city let's see outdoors city 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 am i seeing see what color oh yes okay not bad i think we can i think we can do this just make the witch flap flappy bird flap forever uh let's make a variable called gravity for this sprite only. As you can see, no clones. I'm gonna have to make these buildings scroll by myself. I'm gonna have to use my pure brain. Okay, it falls. Falls a little bit too fast though. So can I please type, there we go. There we go, so we can flap. Let me add a little effect, just something small. Very small to make the game a little bit satisfying because I'm making this in scratch one. Literally the first version of Scratch. I need it to be as good as possible. Let's see it. Let's see if they have any buildings. They literally have everything except a building. So let's let's make it ourselves. I'm not excited to use the Scratch drawing editor. Look at we don't have vector, so that means whatever I draw down, it's gonna stay there until I undo it. Orange, okay. Orange, just drop building, and it's not even updating in the game view, so I'm gonna have to see how this matches up. So let's add some windows now. Getting fancy here, huh? Add some windows. I'm trying to scroll up. I literally can't do that with the scroll wheel. We have to add them ourselves. Okay, and watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. So we have the stamp tool. You select, and then it duplicates. Look at that. That's some next level stuff i gotta gotta tell you scratch boom boom see oh it's so much easier boom buildings are complete now i'm gonna do a little size hack so that the buildings can go off the screen let me see if this will work in scratch one scratch 3.0 hack will work in scratch one um, what is it we first need a new costume we need to make a little dot on the screen to switch costume to size hack yes it does work okay cool now our buildings will have infinite size so let's just find the size that will make let's make a variable just in case the building stops at the edge of the screen if x is less than minus 400 uh, change x by minus 4 set x to wait <gasps> We got a tutorial? Scratch 3 doesn't have that. Oh, that would be so cool. Add that Scratch, please. They're not gonna listen to me. Why would they? They banned me. Um, set X to... Wait, 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 wait. That is smoother than Scratch 3. Now we need two buildings. Two buildings that is scroll since we don't have clones. So I'm gonna have to duplicate this. Duplicate this. This is building one. Can I rename? Thank you. Building one, we got that should work, I think. Please work. Yes, there we go. Okay. Now it looks like there's infinite scrolling buildings, but there's only two on the screen. Big brain. Let me just offset the buildings by a random position. It doesn't matter. It'll make the game have some variation. Since it's literally the same two buildings over and over again. Let me can I duplicate this into other sprites? I can, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, there we go. Score, it's 
let's add a score, let's add a score, score for all sprites. Now I'm gonna make some coins appear. Let's see what they have for points. Okay, so there's a bunch of weird little things. I don't know what Scratch was thinking when they first made this forever, so we just need to make them scroll along with the buildings. Okay. Now, let's make some script, but it can. Okay, and let's call this building one coin. Building one coin. Oh, that's so creepy. Let me just put these. Ah, no, I don't want help. I want to duplicate. Let me just put these right here so when the game starts, there's random costumes. Now, if we're touching the player, we need to and then change score by 10. Set the score back to zero when we start. Same thing from here. Let me duplicate that. Let me duplicate that. I just want to duplicate. Thank you. Awesome. And the buildings look like they're scrolling seamlessly, which they are. I worked hard on that code. Now we need a border. Let's paint a border because I can see the buildings off the screen. That's getting kind of annoying. This is so uneven, but there's really nothing I can do about it. Um, why is this? The variables can go behind the sprites. That's strange. We just need to order to forever go to the fronts. Last thing we need is a game over screen. Let's add, actually, we can use the border as a game over screen. I don't want to make a new sprites. That's okay, I'll just leave it like that. It looks so creepy. I see a face in there, I see a clown. Whoa, these fonts? Scratch 3 literally has five fonts and Scratch 1 has more fonts than that. I'm pretty sure some of these are my custom fonts. Wait, I'm um, game over. That's the that's my custom font that I downloaded. You can get custom fonts in Scratch 1.4. Game over. Uh, switch costume to game over. Switch costume to border. Oh, I need to broadcast game over now. So the witch. Let me scale it down because it's a little bit too big. Uh, broadcast game over. But the thing is, it's gonna it's gonna like spam the game over. So. When I receive building, when I receive game over, we need a variable for the game over. Since I can't stop other scripts in the sprites, and we'll set game over to yes. Set game over to no. If game over. Oh, and I can change the display too by double clicking on it. Cool. So now, we need some sound effects. Really spice up this terrible game. That's all we need, I think, yeah. So, let's add some background music. Let's see what they have to offer us. We got some music loops. You know, I think that's really the best one they have to offer out of all of these terrible ones, so. We'll stick with it, oh, sadly. That sound, let's set the volume to like 20, it's blasting loud. Wait, why is it playing again? Oh, let me just set the volume to zero. No, no, thank you. Okay, now let's add some sound effects for flapping, for flying. Let's see, um... Let's set the volume down lower though. Sound effect for game over. For collecting the coins. Let's see. Let's do, let's do the pop sound. I don't think they have any real collect anything yet. Add a, literally the lowest quality sound effect $5 can buy. I don't think they even paid any money to get these sound effects. Okay, game over. That's the last thing we need. Maybe they do have a good game over sound effects. But it'll be an effect. Hmm. I think that's pretty good. Not perfect, but it'll do the job. Okay, I think our game is done. Let's try this, let's try this. Let's put this in full screen. We really need to see those pixels in full screen, full quality. Okay, got 10. Game over. If I made this in Scratch 1.4, it was like 2009, I think. 
I would be the most popular scratcher. I'd be more popular than Griff Patch. We don't say the we don't say the G word, but I'd be more popular than Griff Patch. I'd literally be the first scratcher to make scrolling and use variables. The first scratcher to know what variables are. So I think we can share this also if I remember correctly. Where is that project notes? Project. So really, so really. I I need you guys to get this on like the explore page. Oh, you do tags too? They added those. Terrible game. I didn't know they had tags back then. Tags. Compress. No, please don't compress. As if this isn't compressed already. Let's share that. That'll wrap it up for the end of this video. Make sure to give this game a like and a favorite, please.